Yep. <laughs> cool. So we just left okay. off with nobody looking down at the main character while leaning back in his chair. Um, do you happen to know what Kira Meku means? Kira Meku. Blinking? Kind of. It's not really blinking, but it is um to like kind of like the sparkle, kind of to have like a gleam in your eye. Kira Meku. Or like Spark- Kira Kira. Sparkle. Yeah. It just, it's related because okay. like when we've gone through like the blinking, we tend to have like kind of like chika chika suru. Um but yeah, Kira Meku is to sparkle. Chika chika. Um, Sparkle. this is a verb. So, how would you make kira meku into causative form to make something glint? Kira meku causative. Yeah, one moment. Chira ke. Chira kaseru. Hi. Kira ka. Kira me kaseru. Hi. Kira me kaseru. Perfect. Okay, let's go read this line real quick. Mado sekyo wa doko ni monai. What does that mean? Um, magical stone. Where is? Hi, that's a good guess. Well, so, what is doko ni mo? Hi. So there is a rule in Japanese about a question word plus mo. This magical thing changes it from a question into actually a normal word. So with question word plus mo, it's going to mean either every question word or no question word, like none question words. For example, nani is what? Nani mo is either everything or nothing. Um, so with doko, which means where, it's going to either mean nowhere or everywhere. And whether or not it's nowhere versus everywhere depends on the tense of the final verb. So nai is negative, so that means it's nowhere. So doko ni mo nai is not existing anywhere. So what is not existing anywhere? The magician, the magical stone, yes, does not exist anywhere. Yes, so it's kind of saying he can't see it. In other words, like he can't, he doesn't see it anywhere. He's like, oh, it's, the magical stone isn't here. It's nowhere. It's kind of like he doesn't have object prominence going on. <laughs> um. Anyway, Understood. what does mega kirameku mean? Mega kirameku. The eye is gleaming. Yes, or it's, perfect. It will gleam. It will gleam. Hi. Oh, it's, and what is yeah. that causative form again of kirameku? I have a ra- one. I have a question mark in here, so one part is not mentioned. See if you remember it. Kirame ke kirame kaseru. Hi, kaseru. Perfect. Nice. So right up here, rather than using ga, we have the particle o. Can you read this for me? Me o kira me kaseru. Hi. This basically means you made your eye glisten versus just my eye happens to glisten. So somehow he's forcing this glitter. Um, Most likely in Harry Potter, Dumbledore probably has a lot of neo kira me kaseru with his little glints in his eyes. Um, So let's yes. go read the line from the book for me. Neburi wa. So, Neburi eyes was glistened. Hi. Glistened it. So, so. And what do you think this Ita is here? You have a 50% chance of guessing what it is in this context. Meaning, it's already happened. That's true. It is in past tense, ta. Do you think this is from and you or iku? Is it from EU or is it from iku? Hi. 
it must be from e u because if it's from e q then it would have been e uh iku is actually the... an irregular bird and the it would be ita visually th this is the same if it was iu or ita um we know which one it is by context um if it was iku here it doesn't make any sense it, that would mean he leaves to make his eyes glisten which i, I don't know why he'd leave to do that or like it, it doesn't like make any sense to so use iku in this context so EU, which is to say, means the most likely the next line is going to be in quotation marks, meaning that he's basically his eyes glistened, and so he said blank. So in that case, it's actually and versus the iku and kudu um ending. But uh these two are conjugated the same. Uh in short form. What about the ha form of iru? Hi iru? That would be without a glottal yes. stop. Ita. Yeah, so this is a ru verb. So iku is irregular conjugated and is is the glottal stop with te, ite. You know, ite. As you can see, when you do spaces, both of these pop up because they're basically um the same, but different meanings. I see. I see. Hi. Okay, so last time we met, do you remember how this guy is pronounced? Yes, um, tabe o wa eru. So wa is actually not above that kanji. So owaru is a word and does have that kanji in it, but the only thing above the kanji is the o. This is oeru. And it has basically the same naming oeru. meaning as owaru. So they both mean to end. Tabe oeru is to finish eating. How about this word? Hono. Hi, hono. The no is long. Hono. So next is furue, furu, 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 furedu. Uh, furedu is a do verb and it means to touch. Hi. Uh, here is an example of it used in a sentence. Dorobo wa isu no se ni fureta. Hi. What does that mean? The thief touched. He touched the back of the chair. Perfect. Yep. So knees use here for the destination where you're going to put your hand. Um, do you remember what how this is read? Yes, it is inochi o ubawareru. Right. Have your life stolen. What does ima now mean? Ima now. Ima now. Ima is now. Now is naru. Mm, good guess. Ima now means even now. Even now. Hi, even now. Ima now. But what it is stolen. So, um, hi. So right here we have a new word. Can you well oh, phrase? Can you read it for me? Inochi o otosu. Hi. So this means to drop your life and it means um potentially to lose your life your your life is um gone you die in other words to die inochi wo otosu otosu drop hi uh can you read the sentence for me I drop dead kind of a thing so so exactly um isu no se ni te o fureta um Touches the, the back of the chair. The hand touches the back of the chair. Exactly. So in this case, the hand is the tool. So yeah, they're using yes. all to basically say what is used to touch. Tail fudidu. So kind of kind of interesting. So the destination we're aiming to touch this using the hand somehow. So we force the hand to touch the tail. 
the the back of the chair might be how you can think about it to do is to force something to force touching yes to make the hand touch the back of the chair i I guess there's intentionality here that's what they're trying to say yes rather than like ga or something um do you know how this is read it's ikiru hi to live perfect do you know what jitsuni means jitsuni jitsu meaning in actuality yes in actuality or really or something like that in really it's a factual thing in fact yes this happened yeah um can you read this word for me inochi o otosazu ikiru hi so we have the negative form hi of otosu um without dropping life live yes exactly without dropping your life you live so without dying living (laughs) to live without diving right (laughs) don't waste your life away live (laughs) okay so we saw this earlier how do you read it how do you think you read it uh, jitsu, was that what you say? Jitsu ni? Jitsu, jitsu ni. Perfect. And our next word is kyomi bukai. This me, kyomi is interest in something, and fukai is the word for deep. So kyomi bukai is deeply interesting. To feel a deep interest in something. Kyomi bukai. Uh, what's this word again? Bukai, bukai, deep. Jitsu ni. Jitsu. Okay, towa. Towa is a grammar point when you use when you did not think something was true. So it really um works well with jitsuni, but jitsuni is not actually needed, but I'm going to have you throw in a sentence because they, they mesh well together. Um, towa can be at the end of the sentence, or you will also see it in the middle of sentences. Um, for example, anna ni utsukushiku miiru hito ga so the fact that that person that I can see that is that beautiful, they actually are a boy. That's kind of what that says. So that's like a more complicated at the end. It's a little bit easier to understand, I think, with um in the middle of a sentence, which is actually how it is in the book. Um, can you read this one for me? Ano ko wa madoseki ni fureru to wa that shouldn't be there. I don't know. I'm not caught there. Okay. Hi. So what do you think this A means? True. A is true, but I thought that it should be B instead. So kind of. It kind of just shows shock, kind of. So we're here. It's basically saying... The fact that that child had touched the stone, oh, I'm quite um intrigued in that. So it it it's not the the thought would be B. It's not actually correct. I just wrote that there. Uh, it 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 just it kind of gets right here with the shock kind of it shows. So oh what? So basically, I thought I thought A would not be true is what Toa is used for. Uh, so I didn't think he would be able to touch a stone. Or something like that is is kind of how it is. So I didn't think this is true. Is what towa means. Um, how would you say um, the fact that you are alive even now? I am truly um, surprised. The fact that is my translation of towa. Uh, I think like that's the easiest way to express that meaning. So we got jitsuni, ima now, ikiru, and odoroku. Ima now. Hi, 
Perfect. I can skip the subject here because we know we're Yes. talking to the person. Yes. Uh, you can basically always skip the subject in Japanese unless it's like confusing. Um, do you know what hazu means? Without. Mm, that's a Or good no, guess. should. It should. It should. It Yes. should have been. Should have been. Exactly. So this can be used with like truthful statements. For example, can you read this for, for me? Dorobo wa majutsu shi ni naru hazu da. Hi. This The means. Yeah. The thief ni naru should have became. Or should have, yeah, it's in the past form. It should have became the magician. Hey, this is a kind of in current tense, but uh, it's, it's always so you should Um, become a magician. Should The become the magician, right? The da, it's just should the copula. be true. The the naru is in the present form. So Hazu So, is kind of like probably, so he probably probably. will become dream. It's like you're pretty certain when you use Hazu normally. Normally, I would say it's at the ninety percent area Hazu. Um, you can use it for shock, but it just shows that you were really certain, and you're like, "Whoa, how is that not true?" Um, do you know what shunkan means? Shun kan, shun shun. Mm. Shunkan Yes, is the and moment. the The moment. the moment. Hi. So a lot of times shunkan, you won't really see it by itself, but you will see it with a relative clause. A lot of the times, like, or you'll see like sono shukan, so right at that moment, because sono is a uh, that. So, shukan the moment, right. and then it normally it's described Shun by Kong. something. The moment. Hi, um, can you read this for me? Nebri wa ka ak warui. Hi. Machutsushi wa sure wa nai. Hazu Oh, that's de wa hazard. nai. Perfect. What does that mean? De wa nai. De wa nai is the negative form of So, da. yep. So, neburi should be. Uh, he he should be an evil magician, but he sh he should not be an evil magician. Perfect. But should here in the sense that I'm pretty sure that he's not Exactly. an evil magician. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so here's Shunkan being used in the sentence. Can you read this for me? Madoseki ni fureta shunkan inochi o otoshita Hi. at the time when the magical stone was touched. The life was lost. Perfect. Yep. Yep. When they touched the magical, at the moment they touched the magical stone, they died, would be another way you could say that. Okay, so this right here is Everything. one sentence. It just got too long to be in one thing. But yeah, let's go read this line. Hi. Kon wa mo nanka o. Nanika. Nanika o nusumu wa musumu hazu datta kedo. Nani mo nusunde inakata. Hi. In, uh, in a negative. So, So, nani mo is mean noth nothing, nothing in the nakata. yes, nothing at all. Nothing was stolen. perfect. Nothing was stolen. Kon wa mo nani ka o nusumu hazu datta kedo. Meaning, kan still should. Cut that uh, in the net in the past form, should so have. Khan should have. Sh I'm pretty sure that Khan stolen something. Yes. However, he didn't Exactly. steal any. He didn't stole anything. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. So Khan should have already stolen something, but he hasn't stolen anything. Perfect.
Yep. So you can see how that can be used when you're, it's not true as well. You have to know by like context, basically. Datta tends to kind of show that it wasn't true, like should have, just like in English, also insinuate something's not true. Okay, so now you get to I... go read the stuff nobody says. Sate. Kozo. Meaning, sate is sort of like, wait here, wait, wait a moment, right? Kind of. It's a way to like say uh, listen, kind of like something like okay, boy. It's, okay. it's it's kind of just a way to catch someone's attention, like how I just snap my fingers. Sate kozo. Um, omae wa waga meaning I. Hi, or my in that, this context. Uh, oh. My mine. Old man speech here. Waga mado seki ni te o fureta shunkan inochi o otosu wa otosu hazu data daga ima now ikite oru to wa jitsu ni kyo mi bukai. Perfect. Okay. I actually understood what he said. Nice. <laughs> he said, um, you there, boy. Um, you, when you, when your hand, uh, at the moment that your hand touches my magical stone, uh, your life your inochio uh, should have been lost. Hi. Um, Daga, however, even now, uh, you, you're, you're living, you are living. To wa. He's quoting this. Not really. That's um, the showing surprise. So, oh, he's showing Toa. surprise. To wa. Um, yeah, towa in the in the grammar point, like yes, yes. You say it was towa. It should have been a, but jitsuni uh, komi bukai. I am deeply interested. Exactly the fact that you're still I am alive. Whoa. Truly uh, interested. Yes, perfect. Or, that is truly interesting. Yes, we say both are possible. Um, our next word is furat furat. Uh, this is a be um lightheaded. That's the Rasuke. kind of be the kind of like the well not lightheaded. It's like you know if you're stand up when you're lightheaded, the kind of like tottering, kind of like bleh, kind of walking up is uh what it is. Mm. Um but yeah, let's go read this. Um, like um the world spinning kind of a thing. Yeah. I remember something like that. Okay. Ore wa. I think they have a word for that syncopation to syncopate. Is, is that an English word? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. Syncopation when you when you dizzy. Um, <laughs> ore, ore wa me o bachi bachi sa se. Pachi 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 sase. Yep. Okay. Furatsuki na gara. Furatsuki na gara. Tachi agata. Tachi agata. Stand up. Wow. While, while I was um dizzy i st stood up um my yes. eye me o bachi bachi i i bachi bachi my eyes so so this I is um, another way to bachi. kind of blink it's another word for blinking like chika chika suru ah bachi bachi but maybe stronger here so it it it, it kind I, of means incessantly Blinking, 
Uh, so I guess it's like a lot of blinking. blinking. I blinked frequently. I I, yeah. I rapidly blinked. So so. And I dizzy. While being dizzy, I stood up. Yeah. So furatsuki isn't like being busy, but it's like how you move when you're busy. So it's like so it's like your dizzy movement. Just just clarifying that. Uh, uh it's not nagara. Yeah, so it's well making dizzy like movement. So if you're dizzy, you will probably be doing furatsuku. Um, but furatsuku isn't the act of being dizzy, but he probably is dizzy because he's doing furatsuku. Um, like it, it can mean to oh, like so... to totter. Furatsuku I guess. is like... stumbling around. Yeah, exactly. To, to what? Yeah, to, to like a drunk stumble. person, he's just so, kind so. of wavering. Yeah, that, that that that's what it is. <laughs> uh, do you know what mada means? Mada, mada, I hear this mada, before. Mada. It's, it's mada, mada, da. mada, mada. So so, the same twice. It's mean, it is the same not word. not not yet. Exactly. Try more. Do some more. It's not yep. yet. Mada is not. Give yet. me more. Um, it can also mean still. I think in this context. Um. But yeah, let's go read. The lines in the book. Table ni wa at the table. Ore no buta no aburi niku to aburi niku was like a marinated pork or something. Hi hi. Marinated buta is right? pork. Yep. But aburi is. Is um, did it, I remember it's, correctly? It's yeah, it's, it, it's it's basically marinated. It's it's kind of like any. It, it's not like Pacific, uh, booty. Uh, but when so like marinated would be a kind of aburi niku. Aburi, hi. It's already seasoned. It's already prepared. Um, yeah. to, sh, shagai, shagai mo, shagai mo no sarane, saraga. The potato, the the plate of potato, mada oite atta. So, it's um, still. Aburi is any kind of meat that's been cooked, but it's not crispy. Like it's it's not um, it's another way to cook meat other than uh, yakut. So marinated chicken would be cooked in the aburi way. But like um, popcorn chicken would not be cooked in an aburi way. Popcorn chicken chicken would be cooked in like a, yeah, uh, the yaita. Mm. Ya, ya. <laughs> so that just means non crispy meat. Kind of, but it, it's letting you know it's cooked meat. So it the that sounds disgusting, and if you say it that way in English, so marinated sounds more right as a translation, like the select. Um. <laughs> You could say like broiled could could work or broiled. roasted or something. It just I it, see. It just it, it just means it's cooked and it's it's gonna be like yummy, but it's not gonna be crispy. It's not crispy. It's not crispy. Okay. Cooked not in Okay, not non crispy. <laughs> that make more sense. Um so what it say here is on the table. Right. My cooked meat and my uh, plate of potato, it's still on the table. Perfect. In, in other words, he insinuated that it's still there. He haven't yep, eaten yep. it and no one have taken it away. Exactly. Perfect. It's still there. Nice. He, he's very food con. Khan oh. is very food conscious. I His mean, mind is, is always he's... about the food he'd been describing food constantly yep. <laughs> food is so yummy uh how does this kanji read jitsuni ko jitsuni hi perfect okay let's go read this other line about food sato ga ke no kiichigo kiichigo no Pai mo aru. The sugar. Ke no. Ke no. 
I forgot what Kano mean. Uh, uh but it's the bra um, the gake? raspberry. This gake right here gake. is that ka kakeru that we've seen, like um kosho kakeru or bata kakeru. It basically means like to kind of uh, to... sprinkle and kind of like layer the top with something. Um, so the thing that's being is sato. So basically, it has a layer of sato on top of it. So it kind of means, I guess, two layer. Like a thin Hi, this is gakeru. Gake. So sato gake no ki kichigo no pai. So the raspberry um the rasp the raspberry sprinkle uh, sugar sprinkle raspberry pie Perfect. was still there as well with the um, sense of as well was also there hi 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 uh do you know how to make nigeru into potential form potential this is a Drew potential verb. okay let me remind myself to potential mean is possible Mm, impossible mean areru, areru, areru. so it's nigerareru. perfect nigerareru. nice and, and the causative is the <laughs> a sound uh so i always get confused between the two so potential and um causative form for do verbs are identical they're both going to be exactly the same. You only know which is which by context. So, nigerareru could be causative form or could be positive form. I read the sentence and I know it is p potential form uh, and not causative form. Because causative form wouldn't make any sense in that context. Um, they are different if you're talking about u-verbs. Um, yeah. That... So yeah, they, they are identical. Um, so let's go right. read this line then. Nigeru nara. Nigeru nara. If. While. It is if. Hmm. In this context. If. Okay, if. If run, if run away. Ima da. Even now. Hi. Hey. So if to run, it would be now. So um, this basically means if I was to run, right? Because if I would have to go now. Now is the time to run would probably be how I translate this into English. I would I wouldn't even translate it with the if. The if is just as I, I said, see. it's a very personal, very specific kind of if. So he's saying if I was to run away, basically, now would be the time I should do it. Um, but that's all kind of like contextually in there <laughs> rather than literally. I see. If to run, now yeah. it would be. Now, now, da, now, da, now it is. Yes. I see. Okay. Um, ima nara. If now. Uh, sukama. Razu, sukamarazu ni nigerareru. Sukamarazu, razu, razu in the negative form. So, this is a negative verb. Yep. Sukamarazu ni. Uh, not being sukamararu. Sukamararu is to be captured, right? Yep. To be captured. So. Without being captured, nigerareru, potential form, so able to run. Yes. If now, I can run without being captured. Exactly. Perfect. Nice. And right now, it is our halfway point. So I'll be seeing you in two seconds.